Late Friday morning to you all at home. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nettie Irampour in for Stella Escobedo. And a coronavirus vaccine, it's one step closer to rolling out all across the U.S. And we're waiting for that final decision and the paperwork to come down from the FDA. And we do realize you have questions about what comes next and you need the latest information. Yeah, a lot of things developing here. So News 8 is dedicated to bringing you the answers. We start with Chris Groey. Kicks off our coverage here. Chris. And good morning, Eric and Netta. And look, I'm sure there are even more questions after yesterday. We saw that independent commission go ahead and say that they're good with the vaccine from Pfizer. In fact, it was a 17 to 4 vote with just one uh, withstanding. Uh, but that's not the end all be all. In fact, it wasn't until this morning that the head of the FDA, after a tweet from President Trump, essentially said, hey, we are moving forward with emergency authorization, but we have a few more documents to go over. One of those voting on that independent panel a local doctor here, Mark Sawyer, Dr. Mark Sawyer. He spoke with this, us this morning about why it was so important to vote yes on approving this vaccine. I definitely voted in favor of this. Uh, this is a real breakthrough for us. We're going to be able to get a handle on the pandemic if people keep wearing masks and distancing and now start getting the vaccine. And so here's the question. Well, when are we going to see this vaccine? Well, uh, Dr. Sawyer says that we could see everything tidied up by Monday, and that involves a couple players, right? That's the FDA, that's the CDC, as well as Operation Warp Speed. A lot of logistics to go over, a lot of documents to complete. And remember, this is a vaccine that is likely going to be approved for emergency authorization in about nine months here. So uh, this, is, has, this has been a very fast pr pr process, hence Operation and warp speed and when we do see it come to fruition that first shipment here to San Diego will be stored at three separate facilities one of them being Rady Children's Hospital another UCSD and another the Health and Human Services uh, Agency and then what's going to happen is about 28,000 a little bit more than that are going to go to frontline health care workers but that's only going to serve about 72 percent of them so we're likely going to need more and more shipments so this is not going to be something that is is all done by the end of this year, though that is the timeline that we are looking to get that first shipment out. We still have to finish uh, with the health uh, frontline health care workers, get them their second dose. Then you have those living in the nursing uh, facilities, uh, nursing homes and long term health care facilities, essential workers, then those with pre, pre existing conditions. So when will you, if you are not one of those categories, likely to get the vaccine? Well, it won't be likely until the summer. Eric Canetta, 